So I'm going to ask her this question now. When was the first time you ever saw this hot, sweet, sensational? A physique my own around this country husband when I was small. Let me tell you, when I was younger, I was even more handsome than this. It is the problem of how to fix Nigeria up <laughs> and Africa. <laughs> and has made me to still be looking this yuppie. <laughs> so let, let's ask her now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just but keep laughing. Uh, you know what? Uh, when I was actually like uh, 11, I think it was between 11 and 13 years, I was this handsome freaking... I, I, I'm always freaked about handsome guy. And one thing about me was that I don't even like white guys or anything. I love black guys. <laughs> as in that, and I love maybe chocolatey or black guys. And um, But you know what? I was this... Spirit coco, spirit coco. But there was this day I was actually I went for a church program, and that was the first day ever, ever, ever. I think I was in GSS two, or uh, in the college. I was in second class or second grade. I was about thirteen or twelve years old then. Then we went for something in church. Then I set my face on this <laughs> charming. And some get guess yours. I'm pretty, I'm pretty like Casey. <laughs> this is this is me. She's talking about most handsome, super, super, super sonic. Praise yourself. Oh. Let another person praise you. I, I find like too much. <laughs> so I I just saw this get guess yours and some lean and nanky as in uh, what's it called chocolatey guy. I mean I was really and I was spirit <laughs> I was really spirit coco, you know. We uh we came up from a background that it's not right for girls and guys to move together. Yes, growing up, that was how we we're brought up. So please just tell us your own culture, as in we don't do it, and I don't do it. So, but when I just saw him, I just said, Who is this guy, man? This boy is too handsome. And you know the funniest thing was that we now went for a drama competition. They now chose us to be guy friend and boyfriend. <laughs> But the funniest stuff was that that competition could not hold due to some things. But when we were actually reacting, I was just like, guy. And do you know, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. So when I saw the guy, I was just like, this guy is very handsome. But, you know, I'm this kind of concealed person. I don't even show it. From I do, you know, I just know how to, to keep myself, give myself the right dignity as a lady. And I think it's something that has helped me. A lot but you know the painful thing was that that's why the fact that we're acting together it was this still this spirit coco people there that he didn't even know me he did not knew any he did not know anything about me and i was this type of person too i i can't go crazy for you what what do you what do you feel what do you feel like you and let me <laughs> let me come in there would you know that what she was what she's saying now it was after our wedding that she was telling me that we acted together. I could not even recognize her. I did not even know her. I don't even... All those periods, my own was just, let's act this thing and get out of this place. I'm not interested. I did not even know how she looks like. <laughs> That's the funny so Just for you to know, how, how mindset, the way you train your mind can actually, actually do the wall around you. So Because then my lifestyle is just... God, just God, make myself look good. Going to the church, pray, get back home, read Bible, pray, and other stuff. So, I did not even know. I just know that we are acting with some person, some human being. So I was seeing, probably I was seeing human being like trees then. <laughs> <laughs> so then it was actually then I noticed him before, and I got into friendship with his younger sister. So uh, uh, maybe we we're in the choir together and all the likes. So when myself and our younger sister became friends <clears throat> it was a tug of war anytime i had to pass through their house <laughs> i'll be thinking i'll be like this this i never knew it was actually the one i was going to get married to yeah 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 because th those times i told you that was 12 years old so started growing up so then his younger sister became my friend and we became friends together so when i got to know that this was his uh, this was our elder brother. I was like, wow. So anytime I wanted to go to their house or passing by their house, 
there was this ringing, ringing thing in me. You, you know, it was really confusing. I wanted to see him. I did not want to see him. I felt like uh, just seeing him, then I, if, if I could ever, if I should ever see him, I'll be so scared I don't grieve. <laughs> Despite the fact that I doesn't know, then we're still growing. I don't know what year did you really know? I never knew. What year did you know that you were to mar maybe, you were to get married to me? Maybe seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen. And you are how many years older than myself? I was in secondary school then. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. how many years older than myself? Yes, let them hear as in. Three years. You're older. three years older yeah. than myself. You're yeah. forty. You're forty I'm and 40, thirty-seven. She's thirty-seven. So you're three years older than myself. So uh when he was uh, I couldn't just imagine. I just felt that I was always loving this guy. Um, but you know, like we're taught, there's nothing we can't find the expression for love, like youth teens, it's lost because love or uh, sex is actually for married people so there was no way and they do tell us that what you don't want to eat don't smell it that's the culture the african culture and the belief system we had the training in god so if you're not going to have sex with a man don't get close because opposites attract and if you want to say okay i want to get close before you know what's happening you're just going to go to bed and that's just a rubbish relationship. Carry yourself to go and meet the opposite gender because your, your body is doing tingilingilingi. Before you know it, you will experience what we call omobelengos. <laughs> you know what is mean of omobelengos? You will be impregnated. <laughs> they, will, they will organize your body. <laughs> uh, and you know what? That was just my mindset. I was just struggling with that, those thoughts. I actually pity youths. I think I want to have a program for youths. When I look at that youthful lust, the youthful struggle, it's a struggle that is so killing that if you are not really for God, that struggle can burn off that person's life. I had some girls then that were just churchy together. Some of them became pregnant. Some of them, their lives were just wasted. Yeah, yeah. But I want to thank God. That's a great one. Thank the Holy Spirit for helping me. So the struggle was so much. <laughs> I don't want to see him. I want to see him. I love him. I can express it. Yeah, I can never. How dare. <laughs> me. You don't even know. Before, do you know what they used to call me? Let me just dish to you. No love. I don't have love life. <laughs> and you know the funny stuff is that the two people that are coming together, they are operating, we are both operating on a different scale. I'm this kind of, I'm spiritual, I'm churchy, and at the same time, I am outgoing. But you will never see the outgoing side of me until you are my inner caucus, my pally. And you must be a male to be my inner caucus. And I, the way I dress, well, when I'm coming to the church, you will not even, if you look at me physically, you might not even know that I'm somehow spiritual or churchy. Because with my booty, with my jeans, you know, on point, I, I make sure my trouser is not, you know, saggy on top of the shoe. My trouser will stay exactly on the shoe, you know. I'm just this kind of person that when I come into the church, I bounce into the church, yeah. sit down, and people will be like, oh, some of them might be even be praying for me that God so show this boy salvation. But when you now move closer, you know that I am anti-female. <laughs> <laughs> because I see, I see opposite gender as you know lost stealers of destiny that's what comes to my mind oh this one wants to steal my destiny <laughs> me that i want to be someone in life so that i can take care of my younger ones because you know from onset i have always put myself in position of helping others standing becoming the father figure because we lost our dad when we we're very very small and since then that's fatherhood spirit has always been in me so i'm always guiding anything that will make me derail go and impregnate someone and you are you lost your your drive to fulfillment no 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 no, no. you can't make me with that so uh i i then i knew him it's it then started when i was about 18 years uh i think that was year 2000 2000 2000 and when that was 2000 i was Summer, so I now decided to pray about her. Someone told me, a friend told me that this guy is always saying, pray, spiritual, spiritual. So we started going, we had a prayer meeting, we're attending together. So, you know, one thing, we'll be watching out for each other. 
<laughs> if I get Say to the, the truth. If I get to the prayer meeting and she's not around, in my mind, I feel like I feel like that prayer meeting is, is problematic. It's not the fire is not there that day. But in my mind, when I see her, I will not talk to her. <laughs> I'll just, once, but once I see, I'll be very happy. Ah, she came today. <laughs> but in the inside of me, I was just the love. The more I pray against anything from her, the more it expands. So I confirm that this is real love. Real love. <laughs> in the process, you know, I don't want the story to end up like uh, uh, she came to the house. Nepal now took light. Then you were now looking for matches, and as you were looking for matches, and shake now became too fighting, and from there somebody is spitting. <laughs> okay, there's this word. So before we actually got, do you want to know how I got to know it was to be my husband? 